The land of THW for 2010 comes with many new and unique features. One of the more unique features is the patent pending process called Cool Bypass. This feature protects the pump from overheating when left in bypass for an extended period of time. Currently, pressure washers with float tanks and high pressure chemical are built in this manner. A water tank containing a float valve allows the pump to create suction and siphon both water and detergent into the pump. An unloader valve on the discharge side of the pump bypasses water back to the inlet side of the pump when the operator closes the shutoff gun. This small quantity of water left bypassing through the pump and unloader generates heat and in less than 10 minutes can turn to superheated water. The heated water, if left unchecked, can damage the seals and o-rings in the pump and unloader. To remove this heated water, manufacturers will install a thermal relief valve which opens at 140 degrees and dumps the hot water onto the ground. The hot water leaves the pump which then draws in cold water from the float tank closing the relief valve. The problem with thermal relief valves is that they have a tendency to not seal properly which allows air to be drawn into the pump damaging the seals. Another method used by manufacturers is to bypass the water directly back to the water tank. This method works for keeping the water cool but during bypass detergent is siphoned into the line contaminating the water tank. Instead of installing a thermal relief valve or bypassing the entire stream of water back to the water tank cool bypass bleeds a small amount of water back to the water tank. The bleed line is sized and positioned on the bypass side of the unloader sending a small stream of water back to the water tank. This small stream displaces enough water from the bypass line for cooling but not too much to create a suction of detergent into the water tank. Good ideas come from simple solutions. Cool bypass is a simple idea for a good solution.